our holiday edition of Entertaining in Style with David Caruso. It is presented to you by Marcus Hotels and Resorts. Today, entertaining tips and delicious menu ideas to help you create a fabulous gathering for your family and your friends. Mm. David Caruso is the designer and event planner, and Chef Brian Frakes is the executive chef at the beautiful and historic Fister Hotel. Hi, guys. So happy to have you here. Great Hello. to see you guys. Yes. Thanks for having us. Thanks for waking up with us on this Monday morning. Absolutely. Yeah, we're talking about, you know, getting the presents, getting everything ready for Christmas. And another thing people are doing is going to the parties, hosting parties. So we're so glad you're here because, David, you have some great tips. We're going to follow it up with some great food and drink ideas. Oh. Tip number one, you're saying be unique. Absolutely. You have to be unique, which we love because we decided to spice up the morning blend a little bit for our fan. holiday edition. It looks fantastic. It's spicy. Absolutely. And we love interior scapes that did this with us today. And an extra tip, bonus tip of our holiday edition, is stop by the Fister Hotel to see what interior scapes did to that amazing property and the big grand tree in the Fister Hotel lobby. Their lobby is gorgeous. So many people all around town will say it's their favorite place to, to stop, have a bite, have a cocktail, enjoy. It's so relaxing and beautiful there. Absolutely. I love it. So back to getting to be unique. I absolutely love what Chef Brian did here. You want to kick off your party with some kind of a signature drink. You know that's what I love to do. Mm -hmm. What's on top here? Is that chocolate? Oh, wait until you see this. Okay. This is so perfect. <laughs> yeah. This is something that Chef created, and maybe you can tell them while I pour, but here's okay. where the razzle dazzle comes in, which yeah. I love every holiday. But this is a sipping chocolate, and watch this. Okay. And Chef, as he's pouring, I mean, yeah. is this pure chocolate, it, or what are we talking it's, about it's here? It's a pimped out hot cocoa, really. We put <laughs> a little bit <laughs> local whiskey in there, uh, uh. French press with some fresh thyme. And yeah, our pastry shop made this awesome sipping chocolate, and it's just fun. It, it, it melts that chocolate lattice, house-made marshmallow. Just oh, that is cool. Taking oh. a little extra step for when your kids get done sledding, you leave the Go whiskey out. Go ahead and out. pick it up, Al. Oh my gosh, I, I, I made a, a move towards this because I just want to show and tilt it a yes. little bit towards yeah. there because it broke through kind of the hot chocolate on oh. top. Oh, isn't that to... cool? What now, a dessert. Okay, so when you sip this, you just kind of. Good luck. You can like set it. Yeah. This is what a morning I would do is, drink, right? This, <laughs> is, yeah. this is okay? okay. I would yeah. have broken Just off the chocolate yourself. first, but you can definitely sip that chocolate. Love this, but create a presentation and unique and oh, oh delicious, right? Yummy. Oh my gosh. I love how this you did some good. little bites with it too. It looks like cheese and cranberry. Yes, yeah, so this tip for your party is to use simple locally sourced ingredients with a great creative presentation. Yeah, so just on some birch, uh, uh, some birch wood there that we got at a local craft store. Um, and we think it's fun to kind of make your own crackers rather than buying the, you know, the pre-shaped ones. Just kind of break these with your knuckle. We fried off some lavash, um, a little bit of lingonberry, blackberry jam. And yeah, it's just fun hors d'oeuvre, fun presentation, easy I to do. I love the it's way you beautiful. did that. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I'm all about f like easy to and it's prepping way yes. ahead so you can enjoy kind of yourself and your guests. Absolutely. Is there a tip to, to do that? Because I'm looking at this thinking, this might be kind of hard. <laughs> well, yeah. it's very simple, actually. When you look at the ingredients, there's just a few things, and it looks great. And that's why people it's get. Nice distracted thinking it's hard but just because it looks awesome doesn't mean it's too complicated I but love that. for you we have a great tip at okay, our next table we're going to move to the table. other side of the okay. table you awesome, guys move awesome, here awesome. which is really for the love of leftovers and okay. here's what you don't want anything to go to waste and this will help you prep ahead but the love of leftovers chef yeah so it's just uh, the leftover turkey and the cranberry sauce we cooked down the cranberry with a little bit of lingonberry jelly um, and so that became the topping and then cream cheese tortilla Thinly sliced, uh, thinly sliced leftover turkey yeah, there, and ahead. basically yeah. you have a nice little finger sandwich. I love that. It's so pretty. Yeah, I know. And you just roll it and then slice it, right? Yep. Yep. Okay, absolutely. I'm hold this you you up may so want to chill it for see. about an hour. Okay. But yeah, then you slice it and fun little finger sandwich. That is fantastic. I love that. Look at how cute those are, and then they've just topped with that little bit of the jam. It's That's a beautiful. great way to use leftovers. And again, beautiful presentation. And you know, Molly, I love grab and go. So there we have it with your leftovers. All right, what's next? Now, moving on, here we go with making sure that, again, this is a great, great presentation using leftovers and something you can do the day before, and which is what everyone well. wants to do, right, Chef? Yeah, absolutely. So this could just be. Any sort of slow pot, this happens to be our, our Kobe white bean chili uh, from the Cafe Fister, but anything you cook in a slow pot, a stew, a stroganoff, um, the idea is get it done the day before. 
Uh, so you have nothing left to do but to add a few extra steps of some fancy garnish. Yeah. And you could buy the muffins at the store. And this is soup that. and hot chocolate leather. And yeah. it's delicious, too. It's and what so a great good. way to use leftovers, if you, as you said, the turkey, that kind of thing. I think a lot of people love the smell of Christmas, oh. you know, whether it's like a hot apple cider or like, you know, some type of sangria. What is this drink that you have here? This is a specialty, again, at the Pfister Hotel. You cannot make it through a holiday season without having this in the lobby lounge. It's so amazing, the Christmas glog. And Chef, this mm. is leaped in tradition, isn't it? Yeah, it's centuries old. It's a, it's a mulled wine recipe mm. um, that we've worked on for 120 years at the Pfister. And yeah, it has every smell and flavor of the holidays. You've worked on it for how long? <laughs> well, it's an ongoing project that we've had at oh the Fister since we opened. So uh, I, I can tell this it's, is a perfected mm, yeah. um, it's, uh, it's, it's, drink. It's awesome. Mm. I need to try some too. That's delicious. That <laughs> and the absolutely... smell of this at your party gets everyone festive. You play a little holiday music. Everyone's dressed to the nines, looking fabulous. Really easy service items that you don't have to spend your night in the kitchen. And everyone's ready to have the most fabulous party of the year, right? I love it. And Chef, can people get your sipping chocolate and this delicious uh, glog and, and, and even your white bean um, it, stew there? Absolutely, absolutely the chili and the glog. Um, this is, we're doing this for private events now, but maybe we should start to serve that, right? Yeah, oh, I think yeah. so too. Delicious, I can't pick between the glog or the, or the hot chocolate. That looks oh. absolutely fantastic, you Thank guys. You. Thank you so much for the great tips, um, David, and the delicious food, Chef. It's all wonderful. People will want to know about getting reservations because you can still get in touch with the people at Marcus for your Christmas and New Year's dinner options. What you need to do is visit this online. It's mkepackages.com slash holidays for all the information on having a great dinner with family and friends for either Christmas or New Year's. You can also go to marcusgiftcards.com for gift card purchases. And right now they have a special offer on e-cards. You get a $25 bonus card for every $100 that you purchase, which is fantastic. And we want to say a huge thank you to Interiorscapes. They have interiorscapes.com as their website because they do designing like this, right? Unbelievable for the holidays at your home, place of business, love them. It's fantastic. It looks great. Thank you both so much. <laughs> Loved seeing you and happy holidays to and both you of well. you. And you as well. Thank you. Thanks, guys.